We begin tonight with the search for a suspected serial robber who is very well equipped. He's among a group of thieves using the jaws of life and a fleet of luxury vehicles to steal thousands of dollars from ATMs. These robbers prefer to target cash machines in local 7-Eleven stores. Hello, everybody, and welcome into News 4 at 11 tonight. I'm Jim Adley. And I'm Leon Harris. Sean is off tonight. Now, we've been telling you about cases like this for months now. Tonight, News 4's Jackie Benson explains just how detectives finally cracked this case. A black Jeep Trackhawk, similar to this one, was the group's most frequently used getaway vehicle, according to the arrest warrant for Stefan Janey, 31, who's believed to have been living in Upper Marlboro. The documents say the robbers also used Dodge Durango Hellcats and Mercedes SUVs to evade law enforcement and commit multiple robberies in a short period of time. Janey is facing charges in ATM-related robberies of 7-Eleven stores in Prince George's County. Four took place January 15th and four more on January 17th. In every case, the ski-masked robbers used firefighters' rescue tools, a heavy-duty pry bar called a Halligan bar, and a hydraulic spreader commonly known as the Jaws of Life. A number of the crimes were captured on security cameras the suspects had unsuccessfully tried to disable. At the time, the police chief in Hyattsville, where two of the robberies took place, indicated the group's suspected crimes likely go back to last year. We are working in partnership with Prince George's County Police um, and other uh, agencies on that string. The arrest warrant for Stefan Janey says detectives were able to analyze location data from a cell phone believed to be used by him, showing it was present at the approximate location and time during which the ATM robberies occurred. We spoke off camera with the owner of a convenience store that had been targeted twice. She says she is grateful to hear that police appear to have cracked this case, even though 7-Eleven has told her she is no longer allowed to have an ATM in her store. At Prince George's County Police Headquarters, Jackie Benson, News 4.